we did a great job. <laughs> we did a great job this morning. Let's go to school now. And I gotta clean your face, Jericho. You guys still got toothpaste on it. All right, let's go. Let's go. You got anything to say, Alina? Okay. Good morning, everyone. It is currently qué hora? It's nine fourteen. Come on, Kalia. <laughs> say hi. hi. So I have y'all in my cabinet right now. She just saw my little gum. Little gum. Right now, I'm about to make myself some coffee. I'm also going to make myself and Kalia some eggs, toast, and all of that good stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna start cooking. I'm gonna put my skillet up right now. You guys are not gonna see my face, but I'm just gonna talk. So um, before I start, I'm gonna make some eggs and turkey bacon. I'm gonna make scrambled eggs for Kalia. All right, you guys. So last night, I stood up until maybe like 11.30, which is amazing for me because I have horrible time sleeping and I literally fight my sleep every single night. So whenever the kids go to bed, you know, that's usually my me time where, should I make scrambled eggs first? No, I'm gonna make my eggs first. Anyway, it's usually my me time where, you know, I watch my DVR and all of that. So I stay up hella late. So usually I will stay up and watch my DVR. Um, I'll draw and watch like YouTube videos. Okay, I just, maybe I shouldn't use that much butter. Okay. But yesterday I stood up and I was just watching videos on how to improve my channel. By the way, I'm gonna be eating um, some oatmeal whole green bread. This is so freaking good. How many calories does it have? It says 130 calories for one slice. All right, well, I'm gonna have a big breakfast. I'm gonna have two slices of these. I'm gonna put avocado on it and with my eggs and my turkey bacon. It's gonna be big, okay? All right, I think it's ready. Oh, yeah. I hate what, how my skillet, after a while, it turns like lopsided. Like it leans more towards a certain side. Um, by the way, I put the tomato, basil, garlic, salt-free Mrs. Dash seasoning on my eggs. So good. I really love this one. But anyways, I stood up last night. Or stayed up, whatever. I was just watching a bunch of videos on YouTube and about like how I can grow my channel, how to improve my thumbnails and stuff like that. And I learned a lot from video influencers. If you guys watch, it's Judy's Life. She's like the queen of vloggers. She's been doing it for a really long time and I just love how their channel is. It's so just real and so effortless. It's just like I love, I just love her channel. So the husband from that channel, his name is Benji. He has his own channel called Video Influencer where he helps people improve their YouTube channel and he um, interviews a lot of successful YouTubers on his channel. So that's what I was doing last night. I was like, you know what? I gotta stay up. If I do stay up, I'm gonna stay up researching on how to improve my, my job, you know? I have, I'm fortunate to get to, the, to finally be at the point where I am today where I can actually pay my bills and pay my rent by doing YouTube. and. A couple years ago, I never would have thought this. Like, I had it in my mind, like, okay, you're gonna continue, you're gonna continue, you're gonna grow an audience, and you will get there. But it was something that I was like, I could th I say I was, I like, believed in myself maybe like 50%, you know? But I always said, okay, if this person can do it, I can do it as well, just in a different way. And just, I've always been a person who likes to be on camera. Literally, since I was younger, I'm gonna try to find some videos here for you and I'll just uh, put it in here. It, don't judge me, I was young. He is the most ugliest person in the world! There's something funny, so you can become famous. <laughs> uh, January, I think. January. January 2010. Alright, so this is just a random ass video. I don't know. I'm bored right now. It's Friday. I'm home and I have a whole bunch of homework to do, which I should be doing right now. But I'm just, I don't know, I'm just fucking bullshitting right now. And, and even when I first started, I just always loved to be on camera. I've always loved the camera. Even if it was like just to be taking pictures and stuff like that, I'll post some of those little photography pictures in here from when I was like 17. Are 
always asking me like how to grow on YouTube and all of that. It's literally just you being yourself and trying to find out what you want your channel to be about, you know? I don't recommend you doing YouTube just because you know that you might get paid for it. It's not 100% that you might get paid for it. You have to build your own audience from scratch, you know? Everybody's journey is different, literally everybody. I've been doing this for five years and I have 102,000 subscribers. I did have done it like seriously for about, what, like three years? I, I started getting like a paycheck from it maybe like the second year, but it was always like, you know, like a few dollars here and there. But yeah, everybody has their journey, y'all. Every everybody has a different way of growing their channel. Some people start off one year and that same year they they make a hundred thousand subscribers it just depends on your content and your audience and all of that you know these are how my eggs are looking the other one the yolk broke but this one i'm gonna keep it runny because i love the way that it tastes when when it's like runny on avocado toast it's been five years plus and i still am researching about youtube and stuff like that you know even when i do get to a point where i'm more successful i'm still gonna be researching on how to perfect my craft and how to branch out and stuff like that and i cannot wait to one day be invited to a youtube event or be invited even to benji's video influencers like that's so freaking awesome to share your story with the world and, and then speak about how you do certain things on your channel and how you grew and stuff like that so yeah anyways y'all but yeah you guys YouTube is not easy it's not just record edit and upload there's so much that goes into it and editing itself it's something that you have to really learn if you don't know how to do it at all um, and I learned everything through YouTube literally everything uh, a lot of you guys asked me that as well I had an idea because I've just always been into computers but I never actually edited like a video like that and added text and stuff like that and created it and made it into like a little story of my day. I YouTubed everything, how to edit on Final Cut Pro, how to edit on iMovie, which is the, the free version on, on your Mac computer, how to split a clip on iMovie, how to insert a video into a video on iMovie or Final Cut Pro, whatever. Literally, I learned how to edit on YouTube. I'm gonna put the video that I watched from Benji down below um, for those of you who are interested in YouTube thumbnails and all of that. Even growing on YouTube and just hearing people's experiences and how they became successful, I'm gonna put it down below. So go check him out and tell him that I sent you as well. So yeah, I'm gonna continue making Kalia's scrambled eggs and I will show you guys how it looks in a little bit. So you guys, this is my breakfast. I have strawberries, blueberries, my oatmeal whole grain toast with avocado on it. I just literally cut up the avocado. It's already soft. So then I just get a knife and I spread it. And then I have my eggs and my turkey bacon on top. There's three little strips on there. And then this is the same one, same exact thing. Avocado, so yummy. Look at how bomb that looks, you guys. And this tastes so freaking good. Take the leap this month and get a Coleman Lantern for only $186 a month. Come, come, let me show them. Kalia wants me to show you guys her food. Come up here, Mama. Come. Hi, guys. Say hi, guys. Hi, guys. Say, mira comida. Is it yummy? subscribers we're going to talk about that right now what's up influencers i'm here with tim from legit vlogs i'm bringing you another interview where we're helping build an influence income and impact with online videos i was trying all kinds of stuff i was going every direction because i was hungry i was so impatient and i just wanted to blow up quick like right away but it wasn't until the moment that i just Lean back, trust in God, and just did what I needed to do, which was focus on what the audience truly wanted to see. Hey everyone, so I just wanted to speak to you guys about a comment that I got yesterday, and from what she said, she said she wasn't trying to sound any type of way, and it kind of annoyed me 
just because of how society is nowadays and how people are nowadays and Kalia's in the background clapping because yes girl preach right and she said Kiara you should look into getting a boob job I fixed my mommy boobies without sounding any type of way because you are beautiful the way you are. So it's like, I don't understand how people think that it's okay to tell others what to do with their body. And let me give you guys uh, a quick little update on my boobs. So I've seen people hit me up saying, like talking crap about my boobs. And it's funny because it just says a lot about you as a person to judge somebody's body parts like if anything should shouldn't i have a problem with my body parts i have had an issue with my boobs for years even before i had kids so because i've always had small boobs and i've always wanted like the perky boobs i wanted my boobs to look nice and in shirts and stuff like that and whatever and then even recently i finished um breastfeeding kalia when she was a year and three months which was like around july and i loved the way my boobs looked when i was breastfeeding until she uh started breastfeeding on one boob and that boob only so that boob always looked nice the other one was small it was like just not proportioned well and so i was really insecure especially this summer until recently maybe like a, a month ago i would just look at my boobs and that specific boob that was really big it's saggy now uh, my other boob is still it still looks the same as how it looked before i started breastfeeding but you can definitely tell the difference but i finally got to a point where i was like this is your body you breastfed for a long time and i have never i don't judge anybody but i have never been a fan of getting plastic surgery that's just something that i'm not gonna do to myself i'm not gonna put myself in harm's way to correct something that god has given me and he gave this body to me the way that it is and that's how i'm just gonna keep it i breastfed my child got amazing nutrition from my body and in <laughs> Kalia, she's like literally right here. Hi guys! <laughs> and as a result of me breastfeeding, my boob is a little saggy. But I'm okay with that. I am okay with that. If I ever felt like I needed boob implants, I probably would have told you guys about it. But I <laughs> yes, Kalia. Kalia, your face has ketchup on it. She's like eating right now. Go, mama. Keep, keep eating, baby. Let me clean her face one second. Anyways, Bye. I love my body the way that it is. Um, uh, uh, excuse me. Obviously, I would like to be healthier. I would like to tone up and all of that. But as far as my boobs, can I just say, or as far as my body period, nobody has the right to tell me what to do with my body at all. So, I mean, like I said, it just says a lot about the person and how they feel about themselves. Like just because you got a certain thing doesn't mean you should tell somebody to get it. Unless they're speaking about it, then you can give them some insight as far as what you did with your procedure or whatever. But as far as just telling somebody, oh, you should get your boobs done just because you don't like the way that their body looks, which means you didn't like the way that your body looks, which is why you are obviously corrected it doesn't mean you gotta tell me what to do with my body i'm okay with my body and i'm gonna keep my boobs the way they are and if i ever want plastic surgery with which i highly doubt it'll be because i want it not because you want it not because a man wants it point blank period and if i ever get with somebody and they don't like the way my boobs are then that says a lot about that person that's somebody that i don't need in my life so Anyways, just had to tell you guys that and I want to let you guys know that if you're going to do something to your body, do it because you deep down want to, not because, oh, it looks ugly and I don't want, I don't want people to think. Don't, that sentence needs to get out of your mind. Do it because you truly want to, not because you want to impress society or impress a man or impress other people. Do it because of you. And also research because, um, <sighs> Obviously surgery is very very um, scary and it's very it's something that can take your life as well so that's why I have never wanted to do it on my own I would never want to God forbid be so insecure you know about a certain part of my body um, and once again I'm, I'm not judging or whatever but I know that a lot of people get super insecure with their bodies which is why they want to correct it and stuff like that but i never want to get to a point where i'm so insecure about my body because of what other people think that i put myself in harm's way to get my boobs done and then not wake up i'm not gonna do that ever to myself or to my kids so anyways that's all about on that 
I love you guys and do things for you. Do things to make you happy, not to make others happy. All right, let's continue this video. We're in Walmart. It's super decked out with Valentine's everywhere. Balloon. Yeah. Balloon. I'm with my sister and Alina and Jericho over here. <laughs> Look, you guys. Da da. da. Look at her little belly. She's on the phone with my dad. My belly is not that big. You can like, look, you know how I'm doing this? <laughs> what are you doing? Why do you have your foot up like that? When I'm doing this, come. Look. <laughs> the food out of your teeth. What, what do you take the food out of your teeth with? Let me see. Flossing. Flossing. <laughs> we have to get these because every time when I eat, they get on my teeth. Mm hmm I love the love love these avocados. I'm about to get some more. I think I'm gonna just get this one. Two dollars for this little shit, but these are so freaking hot. Oh, they're actually not, but they're so small. Okay, let's see. I don't even think I'm gonna get this because these are a little bit expensive. The oatmeal bread that I had the other day, but it was so good. Where is it? So good that they don't have any more. Jericho wants some rolls, so I'm gonna get him some. These are actually pretty good. Six for two forty-six. We need to get some mini marshmallows for Jericho's school. I like the big one. Whoa! Kept it up right till the morning. A new kind of ecstasy. You found a different side of me The one I'd like to be A different side of me, yeah You found a different side of me Like someone pretty need A different side of me, yeah It's 7 10 p.m. I am so exhausted. I've been up officially for 13 and a half hours. I'm exhausted, y'all. Shout out to my sister. She made a wonderful meal today. Anyways, I'm about to head home. I think I'm just gonna end the vlog here because I gotta get home right now, 7 o'clock. I just finished having dinner with the family, as you guys saw, and I gotta head home and edit this video. I'm sleeping. And it's already long because I spoke to you guys about like, you know, the whole body shaming and all of that stuff like that. It was basically body shaming. Regardless if the person thought that they weren't being, you know, messed up or anything like that. And I don't know. I would, I just, I know me personally, I would never tell somebody that if I had my body done or whatever the case may be. To tell somebody, even if it's somebody that I don't like, <laughs> like to tell somebody like, hey, you know what? You should get a light bulb. Or hey, you know what? You should get a BBL or a, a breast reduction or your breast done. Like, unless the person is asking for advice on a breast a breast re reduction or anything like that. I've never said that on this channel. I um I always say that I have itty bitties and I'm gonna have itty bitties forever because I once again this is me. I just won't put myself in that position. You know, the only surgery I think I would have is obviously if I need to have like a a surgery god forbid like you know because i need to get something removed or whatever and obviously like a removal of like my wisdom teeth or whatever because that's considered a surgery you know or if god forbid i ever have like a c-section or something but that's about it 
nothing else anyways i love you guys thank you guys so much for watching as like always and i hope that you guys have an amazing night right now it's seven o'clock i hope that you guys just have an amazing everything for the amazing life filled with happiness positivity love and everything that is good and you guys will see us tomorrow love you guys Bye. peace out see you tomorrow <laughs> you guys heard that peace out Hello. We have the rib, my dad.